For this one, let's learn about the life of Benjamin Singleton. Benjamin Pap Singleton was born in Nashville, Tennessee in 1809, and he was a former bondsman who was known for leading migrations of African Americans from post-Reconstruction South into Kansas. Under the administration of President Andrew Johnson in 1865 and 1866, new Southern state legislatures passed restrictive black codes to control the labor and behavior of former enslaved people and other African Americans. During this time, blacks feared that the end of federally enforced Reconstruction would mark the return of overt racial violence and discrimination in the South. Held in slavery in Tennessee, Benjamin escaped freedom in Detroit in 1846, but by 1850 he returned back to Nashville after the end of the Civil War. His efforts to secure property for Blacks started in Tennessee, but did not come to fruition due to high land prices and concerns about overcoming historical racial animosities. Because of that and some other factors, he began looking out west and set his sights on Kansas, which seemed to be a perfect combination of lower land prices, racial solidarity, better treatment of Blacks, and it seemed to be the perfect place for a Black on. With the brains of a businessman and with divine inspiration, Benjamin went on and founded the Edgefield Real Estate and Homestead Association in 1874, then went on and helped guide hundreds of settlers from Upper South to two newly created Kansas colony towns, Baxter Springs and Dunlop. By the spring of 1878, Benjamin's group of 73 left Tennessee for Kansas. The following year, an estimated 2,500 more settlers left Tennessee and Sumner County for Kansas. In 1879, an estimated 50,000 freed Black Americans had left the South and headed out West. These men, women, and children relocated to Kansas, Missouri, Indiana, and Illinois. They wanted to become landowners. They wanted educational resources for their children and to escape the racial oppression they faced in the South. But by 1880, there were so many black Americans that were arriving to the new colonies that it became a financial burden on the settlers. After his communities were established in the early 1890s, he created the United Colored Links designed to protect African-American laborers and encourage patronage at African-American businesses. In the end, the United Colored Links disbanded and his communities only achieved marginal success, but he had a vision and he saw it through. Benjamin Singleton passed away on February 17th of 1900 in Kansas City, Missouri.